Greetings again, YouTube. This is the Retro Mel. Oh my god, no, no, no! Yeah! All right, all right. Bad Street Brawler. Okay, I'm a little depressed now. Yeah, I had this. Have this. Yeah, so. Anyway, my dad got me the Power Glove back when Nintendo was shiny, and he grabbed this because it said on the box that it works, that it was designed for the Power Glove, even though that was an afterthought to the production of the game from the looks of it. And I'm just gonna do what I can here. Oh, Jesus, I, I don't even know where to start. So up to jump, I got moves, punches, kicks, yeah. Double Dragon, this is not. This has got to be one of the worst games on the Nintendo console. It just, the graphics are horrible. Listen to that crap music, which if you can't hear it, don't worry. You got plenty more time to hear the same song over and over and over and over. Yeah, I know, I get it. This is coming from a guy who likes Friday the 13th, so sue me. Ugh. Friday the 13th, it's easier to tune it out than these annoying ass high pitched sounds. Ugh, jeez. Ugh. I can't ear twist this guy. I got a move that doesn't work on half the guys in the stage. Isn't that fantastic? Ugh. Go. Don't. Oh. Man. All right, so. Ah. You think you'd grab a power up when you jump right through it? I guess not. Well, anyway. So, the only use for the Power Glove in this, not only does it make the rest of the, the game actually harder to use, but there is this, like, I guess if you thumbs up and it blows up everything on the screen special move, that it just, it's not worth trying to have a Power Glove for, so you can sit there like Fonzarelli, and you go, hey, check it out. Am I all out of time? Oh, I I ran out of time, and I'm I'm not like wasting my time here on the level. Jeez, we're just gonna bust through this as fast as we can and see what happens. But I'm not gonna torture myself too much by putting much effort into it. W what I really want to say is, what, 1983. I, I just did a video about Atari games. And in 1983, we had the video game crash, right? Brought on by the huge number of horrid, lack of quality control games that had been released for the 2600. It devastated the video game industry, right? Because you end up with Pac-Man, the long-awaited, wound up being a crap festival. And then you get E.T., which I guess it wasn't so bad if you believe in RTFM like I do. Oh, look at my monkey. Look at my monkey. I twist your ears, monkey. I twist them ears good. I was just... Ugh. So you think that the industry would learn a lesson. You're going to drive yourself broken rampant if you continue throwing out god-awful shit for your consumers. But no, no, it continued. Looking at shit like this that came out. Adventures of Bayou Billy. Oh, oh, the games by Color Dreams. Dear God, the Adventures of Captain Comic. Well, granted, that didn't exactly have the Nintendo seal of quality on it, so. But some of the stuff that did, like this one. Let me get this straight. The first version of Tetris doesn't get approved with the Nintendo seal of quality. Oh, well, that's a different story altogether, I guess. But, oh, games like, you know, Tengen can't get the seal of quality. Um, but Nintendo's stamping shit like this? 
what is it exactly that earned this the Nintendo seal of quality? I I'd love to know. What was their criteria? This, th this seal was designed to like suggest to the consumers, oh no, we promise this is a quality product because we have looked over it and guaranteed it doesn't suck to try to avoid the video game crash, right? Or at least let parents know, I, I don't know. But, so the seal of so-called quality gets put on crap like Bad Street Brawler and... Oh, jeez. So yeah, this game sucks. I guess you figured that out. I'm tripping people. I'm tripping balls! No, I don't do drugs, kids. It's pure anger. Oh, jeez, bananas. Bananas to death. Oh, good. Full on life. I guess that's... Is that a good thing? I really don't want to play this anymore. Which means if I die, I'm out. I guess I shouldn't be happy that I found more life. Well, anyway. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Doesn't he usually give me hearts? Oh, well. I played this a little bit. Yeah when I was a kid. I do believe I beat this. I beat it once, just to say I did. And I was like, never again. Never again. And this is the boss. Just two things I've already fought. Y yeah, creative. Well, at least I can tell that's a monkey. <laughs> I spanked the monkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at this Duke Nukem wannabe. He's bad. Right, well, I wanna. I'm doing this for you, YouTube. I'm doing this for all the collectors that want to get uh, tons and tons of Nintendo games so they can avoid the crap that should have caused the second video game crash. The video game crash of 1990, but we got lucky and it didn't. R really, I've got a... some Three Stooges move? How am I supposed to kill anything with that? It's slower than shit. At least I've got this... this... balls kick here. God. Oh, which kicks the short little dudes in the head, yeah. I, I'm not surprised about that. <clears throat> okay, so Monkey killed me. Shoved a banana up my ass. Oh, uh, and lovely, I'm out of lives. I should be crying. But instead, I'm like, this is great. I can f finish this stupid. Alright, look. Keep your eyes out for shit like this. Bad Street Brawler and other horrid games like Captain Comic or, oh, Fester's Quest. You know, look, watch AVGN videos, honestly. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Seal of quality. Oh, there are shit games. I try not to review any of them on my channel because I like having a high note. But this is in my collection and I felt I had to talk about it. They suckered parents into getting kids shit because of the awesome box art. But then you plug it in and poop! So, friends, avoid Bad Street Brawler. And remember, friends don't let friends play shitty games. Thank you for watching, folks. Thank you for letting me cry on your shoulder.